The reason why a six-dimensional Earth is known as an intergalactic Earth, meaning the Earth connecting to other galaxies, not just to worlds within our Milky Way, is because in the sixth dimension, a being would see a plane of all possible worlds in the same universe. This is where we could compare and position all the possible universes that start with the same initial conditions as this one, the Big Bang. So all the galaxies that were part of the same collective, beginning at that Big Bang, would be within reach. In theory, if a whole species could master the fifth and sixth dimension, they could travel back in time or go to different futures within this one universe. This is the exciting future and reaching the pinnacle of human evolution in a physical space. In mathematical terms, the sixth dimension is described as a rotation group in the known four dimensions of height, length, width, and time that now has six degrees of freedom added to it. But this new group is not linear, and it has now a more complex structure in space that connects to all possible points and lines that exist in space. The sixth dimension is also connected to the string theory, called the little string theory, that happens in a six-dimensional space represented as the known universe. String theory is a theory by quantum physicists where the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. It describes how these strings travel through space and interact with each other, creating everything, which is a very smart way to look at things, being that everything that exists for us to experience has its own vibration and frequency that could be activated as sound by plucking a tiny invisible string that connects to everything else. The butterfly effect can also be explained through this idea where the beating of the butterfly wings could cause a hurricane on the other side of the world. A crime done to a little child is felt in the psyche of all souls part of the same collective. Everything in this universe is interconnected, and string theory is an intuitive understanding of this. Although it is theorized in a scientific way, it is also very spiritual as well, describing the grand symphony of this universe, playing out in one song, a playing out discord sounds, and then coming back to harmony again and again. J.R.R. Tolkien was in touch with this idea with his idea of Eru Livatar in the Silmarillion and how everything in the universe was created through music. Sixth dimension consciousness also makes us more acutely aware of the idea of non-locality and quantum entanglement, which is how molecules can exist in two or more different times and space. This is why multidimensional realities become a possibility and parallel universes and worlds become available to connect to. Non-locality describes the ability of objects to instantaneously know about each other's state, even when separated by large distances like billions of light years away, almost as if the universe at large instantaneously arranges its particles in anticipation of the future events. And it does. It is called our collective or the universal mind creating together. All souls are just extensions from the universal mind embedded in the highest existence known playing out this grand story or symphony, however you choose to see it, or as both. Here, a six-dimensional species could theoretically be known across many galaxies, both in the past as well as in the future, and live for very long lifespans to do so, almost fully immortal lives. They could choose to try to conquer as many worlds and galaxies as possible, or they could choose to be known throughout many galaxies as the helpers and be like benevolent angels within the whole universe. There is another existence for a six-dimension society as well, where they have the power and the technology to visit any galaxy at six dimension, but choose not to. But you personally can enter the sixth dimension on a consciousness level right now, and some Earth souls have seen glimpses of it, and even have made their majority of living experience now within it that will change your whole perspective of Earth. Indigos are a group of souls who were born coming from the sixth dimension consciousness from this previous lifetime. So when they come into Earth, often the third eye is already open as a child, and they see the world in its energetic state rather than just material one. Though it may take them a while to look beyond the 3D material Earth and remember and focus on their inner insight, these souls also are needed in the world to help awaken the other sleeping creator souls within the 3D Earth, killing and suffering together because they forgot about their higher selves in this material world. 
The third eye is another name for the intuition. It is the higher mind within the ego mind connected to the universal mind that is embedded in the highest dimension of existence. It is connected to the third eye of the psychic body, completely an energetic eye, but when it is open, it allows for a soul to be in a physical body, but also be aware of its higher self at the same time, connected to all that is in the cosmos, and see beyond the material world. An example of this type of living would be for a person to have a physical body on earth, and also be aware of their spiritual one that exists in other parts of the galaxies and other lifetimes. When the third eye is open, you can read soul energy around you, look well beyond a person's outside appearance, labels, cultural or ethnicity background. You see souls because you are connected to the universal mind, so you have the power behind you to see through people's egos and facades they put on. Your psychic abilities are at their peak, and you can walk around normally as humans, but inside you know yourself to be a powerful creator too. Only a piece of the universal mind and ego form for this lifetime, but you understand each soul is a significant part of it, a part of you, and you a part of them. Within an earth that has moved up into sixth dimension, when all souls get to this level, there can be nothing hidden from one another any longer. Can you imagine a world where everyone operates with their third eye open at all times, seeing through to each other's souls and true intentions within their life experience? There would be no more psychic abilities kept hidden, as all of them would be exposed and known to be available abilities to all souls who tap into this ability to perceive life from this higher dimension and perspective. This is how the Palladians and Syrians and many more species live as an example of. They are all living on their world, but in the open with their psychic abilities. Each soul may have unique ones, but they use them out in the open and together to create powerful energy forces that we see a bit when humans get together and do mass meditation circles. But imagine if this psychic power was turned on always as a whole world. Of course, individuals have their own choices, but the majority would be connected mind-wise to one another at all times, and it would have the power to affect other worlds in other parts of the universe too. At this mass level of mind-to-mind -mind connection, there could be no more secret societies in humanity, no lies hidden from one another as individuals. A husband could not cheat on their wife or vice versa. They would know one another by being in tune with their intuition. There is always a larger desire to live authentically to the truth in the fourth, in the fifth, and the sixth dimensions. A governing system would be one totally transparent, where it would be a wise council consciously chosen by the masses, but for their ability to lead and take responsibility as representatives of the human race for the galactic neighbors. Yes, just like the White Council in The Lord of the Rings, where everyone knew Elrond, Gandalf's, and Gladriel's heart and mind without any worry. This is very much how it actually is at six-dimensional living. There really is no need for rulers or governance because everyone experiences life as their higher selves. So they make wiser decisions day to day, and people do not need to be penalized or punished for their behavior. They each control themselves and are no longer functioning from the reactive mind, but only the higher one. This is why when people channel aliens, they often reach a group council, because this represents the hive mind or collective mind of that particular species being represented. At this level of higher dimension, there often are many perspectives and personalities attached to these channelings because of the multi-cells it comes from. So often this is why whole councils are involved when talking to you and not just an individual alien living life at sixth dimension. These channelings are also another aspect of you in another lifetime in another world. At sixth dimension consciousness, you know all of this and are aware fully of yourself in this multidimensional way. Another thing that happens at sixth dimension on a planet is that empathy is an instant connection in this world where people's choices are governed by experiencing the feelings and thoughts of others so they do not harm one another. It is not something to tap into or shift focus towards. It is simply there always, just like the third eye represents 
foresight, and hindsight rule this dimension as humans discover they can look into the future possibilities of that particular path they are on, so they will be able to perceive the future of how it would most likely play out. Also, the ability to look back into the past and understand why certain events took place based on the past events, so history will less likely repeat itself again and again at this dimension because of this inner knowledge known to all new ways of doing things, and the higher perspectives closer to objective universal truths will be known. A six-dimension society may look like a truly beautiful one for many souls who are always ready and open to experience authenticity and acceptance of the things unseen but felt. You could say that a six-dimension world is one that has evolved to the point of highest potential within a species to be all wise beings with nothing controlling them from their subconscious like a shadow side, but because all parts of the self are illuminated, there are no shadows any longer to drive your life choices without you aware. This is why shadow work is being done now to prepare humanity for this level of authenticity. Physically, earthlings will look very different too in the sixth dimension. The human form will be beautified and not in all the same way as each other, but dependent on the individual choice. A new type of evolution will change their outer appearances more and more. There will be a diverse array of life forms here that represent other parts of the universe because there will be this type of time travel available. So yes, earth may look like humans, elfin creatures living with reptilian type humanoids with water mermaid type beings cyborg humanoids and even look like the little greys and so on humans will look still human but some inbreeding from other galaxies and worlds may happen i'm just looking into the possibilities that arise in a six dimensional world and it has already taken place on earth in the lower dimensions but at the sixth dimension it is universally accepted as open possibility and fact Humanity itself will open up to a degree of what does it really mean to be a human or a man or a woman in space in touch with other galaxies. At this point, starting to see the seeds of it in the fifth dimension, Earth could indeed look a lot like Star Wars with an array of life forms all living together harmoniously and possibly sometimes not at times. There could be rise to intergalactic battles and wars that also happen when a certain higher dimension species decides to experience themselves as conquerors of other worlds. But I will tell you, it gets harder to have this happen because of the psychic connection to one another. All souls would sense the discord and seek out its root right away. Connected energetically to one another like a tree is connected to the whole forest by the underground root system. That is how minds work and move together as a network. No matter the outside diversity of the shell, a soul is in at the lifetime. Everyone is connected within the universe. Religion at this level would be totally shared spiritual path based on inner knowing and understanding of being connected to a greater universe together. Physically, work buildings, homes, and the state of the planet would be at its highest peak of advanced technology where all souls could live in luxury and no longer slave away for someone else not connected to them, but focus on what brings joy to their life experiences and what more could they possibly create with their own gifts and abilities. Disease and illness would almost be obsolete as advanced technology would have a clear map of the body and energetically root out the problems that arise within it. Also, there would be less pollutants and toxins on Earth, having a deeper awareness the way nature is connected to all souls. Animals would be less eaten, if at all, depending on personal choice, and more veggies and plants would be relied on for sources of high energy. If there were still animals to eat, they would be cloned objects created as fibers and muscles through science without any nerve endings to think or be sensitive to pain leaving the animals to be companions on Earth and to go through their own cycles of evolution. Energy resources would be looked at differently in general, using abundant natural resources like air and rainwater, rather than ones that can be easily depleted, creating the prices to go too high. There would be portals and stargates around the world, positioned at certain ley lines, to help bring you to another part of the universe in order to experience another galaxy when ready. 
Traveling through wormholes, bending space and time, would be an easy feat for a being at sixth dimension. There are still laws of physics and space that govern this dimension, but it can be bent within the parameters that were set within this universe. Physical laws of light and sound will hold true to the mathematical laws of vibration and frequency set for this universe. Each galaxy adheres to these laws. Although they can look different, all beings must follow the mathematical laws set. Time travel and space travel can be done through manipulation of these laws. Moving objects will be done through these laws of sound. All possible worlds and points of perspective within this known universe could be available to a soul at six-dimensional consciousness. Here, humans become their light body selves, less dense in matter and more energetic in spirit, and not as attached to the material world, but still enjoy it as a playing field to create upon. It is a preparation step before becoming aware of the multidimensional self in the multidimensional universe in the higher dimensions. Sixth dimension is still very much physical, but it is on the border of being energetic and material before the seventh dimension, which is purely energetic, that lies above the material universe and exists only in the astral planes, or otherwise known as the spiritual planes of existence. The following exercises will begin your journey of the sixth dimension of reality within you. I suggest writing your answers down in a journal so you can refer to them in the future or just listen to them and think deeply. Number one, are you aware of your multidimensional self yet? Do you get flashes or images of yourself in a different form, a different lifetime, or planet even? In your journal, draw or describe a few images of your multidimensional selves. You may not see all timelines right now, but there will be a certain lifetime that sticks out to you for a reason. It has to do with allowance to live this lifetime. If you were in touch with all your multidimensional selves, you may not focus on this lifetime. And each lifetime and form you take is sacred to aiding to the expansion and energy of this universe. Number two, let's test your third eye. Do you walk through your daily life and have conversations with people and just see through to their intentions and sense their energies? You don't have to write anything down, but I just want you to stop and reflect on this ability of yours or one you are just starting to tap into and remember again. How does it make life easier to be able to read people this way? or see future events possibly happen before they do? Does it make you a cautious person, a reactive person, or one at peace? Just take a moment to shift your awareness towards this and see how you have been living life so far. Number three, are you ready for the sixth dimension? It is okay to not be. All souls get to each dimension at their own pace needed for the discovery and journey. Ask yourself right now, are you wishing to meet your galactic neighbors and even intergalactic ones, strange life forms from other parts of the universe? Are you ready to live totally out in the open with your psychic abilities and not hold them in any longer? Right now, take some time to decide if this is the type of world you want to experience or if you are just not ready yet to walk into this reality. This will be an exercise that will bring you more into confirmation of what is desired within yourselves and help ground you to that dimension now. You can do this with each dimension by just stopping and sitting still for a moment to ask yourself if this is the dimension you want to exist life on. Number four, write down some of your known psychic abilities you are awakening to. Everyone may not have all of them awakened at the same time, but you certainly have them inside as a potential. All souls have this ability equally as we are all equal in power as creators. You may hear things others cannot, see things others can't, move things with your mind, know things instantly without thinking, Sense others' energies and emotions around you. These are all abilities out in the open in the sixth dimension. Are you living your truth yet of being in tune with these psychic powers?
Number five, brainstorm some of the highest potentials you believe humanity to reach. What do you visualize in your mind's eye about our future? What do you think the peak performance would be for humans? What would this world look like to you? Getting in touch with these visions may help you get more clarity on your perspective and where your possible evolution is. Enjoy the present time and your life, but also keep in mind what kind of path would you like to walk on leading you to a brighter future. Number six. If you have not started yet, I'm going to assign meditation or quiet and still time to you to do daily. From here on out, make time in your busy day to just sit for five to ten minutes daily and be still. Create a comfortable and quiet space in your home or outside and allow all your thoughts to just flow through you without judgment, but awareness of them. Set an alarm and don't come out of this stillness till it goes off. Do this practice to help you open your third eye and daily it will keep your inner voice clear and your inner sight sharp, which will bring you to the higher dimensions no longer forgetting the higher self while living life on earth. Number seven, just for fun, write down a short story or bio on what life would be like to visit other galaxies while living in an intergalactic civilization. You may think it will not happen in your lifetime, but you will be back in your next to experience it if your focus is on what more can you experience on Earth. So take the time to visualize it now and let it start to expand your mind of what possibilities could be and do exist in this infinite possibility universe that you can create to experience. Class dismissed, and I will see you all on Wednesday for the 7th Dimension.